The Helios trial was the one that was, you know, very impressive data in terms of progression-free survival. Um, patients were randomized to bendamustine and rituximab, which, you know, it's a widely used combination regimen for patients with relapsed CLL. Again, cybrutinib in combination with BR, and it was a blinded study. And the study was um, stopped early because um, there was a difference and the patients were allowed to cross over into the ibrutinib arm if they had been receiving placebo because the PFS are dramatically, after four months you see a huge separation. So we're very excited about this. Um, we know that ibrutinib is well tolerated in combination with chemotherapy as well. So um, for us it's kind of like showing that we can combine safely these new two new agents that have been recently approved with chemotherapy and we still don't see any extra signal or any increased toxicities. So that's very good. Moving forward, you know, we can maybe uh, conceive um, doing this and we're actually running this trial nationwide where we're um, doing um, bendamastin and rituximab against um, ibrutinib, against ibrutinib in combination with rituximab to see which arm is better for uh, elderly patients that are, have never been treated. And there's another study uh, nationwide in the US um, of FCR, which is as of right now, the standard of care for fit and healthy young patients against ibrutinib in combination with rituximab. So we're very excited. Hopefully, you know, one day we'll be able to say chemotherapy is a thing of the past, um, but none of us know until we have the data from these you know, um, studies that is mature enough. So hopefully, if, if that's not the case, at least we know that we can safely combine it with chemotherapy to achieve you know, deeper remissions and longer remission durations.